Hey, everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. I've got some breaking news, and I would please ask that you share this everywhere you can because this is going to affect a lot of people. I want to get the information out to them as soon as possible. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and share the screen and jump right into this. This is about federal employees and an appeals court. Oh, yeah, you got to love all the pop ups. An appeals court uh, just revived Biden's vaccine mandate for the federal for federal employees. This is just came out. I'm going to link the story below. We're going to go through it just a little bit. The Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals on Thursday revived President Joe Biden's COVID-19 vaccine mandate for federal executive branch employees, lifting a district court's January injunction that had halted the requirement and ordering the lower court to dismiss the case says the majority of a three-member panel said that under the Civil Service Reform Act, which Congress passed in 1978 to streamline the process of settling workplace disputes brought by federal employees, the lower court did not have jurisdiction to the issue to issue the injunction on the mandate. The opinion was written by Clinton appointed uh, Judge Carl Stewart, who was joined by Judge James Stewart, another Clinton appointee, Circuit Judge Resha Hawkins Barksdale, an appointee of President George W. Bush, wrote a dissent, dissent disagreeing with the majority's interpretation of the CSRA. Uh, going on, and, I, and I'll talk for a second. Uh, lawyers for the mandates challengers did not immediately respond to CNN's request for comment as to whether they plan to appeal the Fifth Circuit's decision. I'm not going to read any more. I'm going to link this below, guys. Let's unshare this. Uh, this is going to affect a lot of people. There's a lot of people in the federal government that have made specific decisions, either for or against. That's not the uh, discussion of this video. It's to get the information out. And when breaking news uh, comes out that is going to affect the economy, I want to bring it to you. The reason why I say, will it affect the economy is because, you know, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that people don't realize. And one of those things are the amount of people that may lose their job for fighting for what they believe in, right? And fighting for what we believe in is paramount. And it's important. Whether we uh, understand someone else's beliefs or not, for them to have the ability to stand up for them and to speak about them, to be able to tell their side of the story is extremely important. And I personally believe that there are a lot of people standing up for their rights uh, not to take a vaccine and to not be forced. And if they were to be let go, I believe we would see some absolutely huge cracks in the supply chain in absolute in the service industry in, as a whole. And I know many people that have already been, or a couple of people actually, that have been let go uh, from amazing jobs like firefighters. And it, it is an absolutely insane time. And, and I think these are very important times to pay attention to right now, because a lot of people I think forget how our country and other countries were formed. And our country was formed on fighting for what you believe in. You know, and uh, and I stand up for people that that have the guts, stand up for what they believe in, even in the sight of losing a lot of what they've worked for. And so I have to say, you know, as part of the great resignation and all of the uh, things that have been going on behind the scenes and in front of people's faces, I think that uh, this next six months is going to be very, very hard. I think this is a time to be prepared with extra food and water. I'm not joking. Uh, I think, you know. The facts are there is a tsunami of bad news coming our way around the world. Inflation is not going to get solved or fixed by the Federal Reserve or any central bank come, you know, near you. Uh, the supply chain issues are going to get worse because they're getting jam-packed, uh, log-jammed right now with requests. And I think that today is the day to go do something about it. That is to get ready. And so please, if you know anybody in the Federal Service, that uh, may be at risk, let them know because share this video out with the world because people need time to prepare. If they're gonna decide a certain way that may lead to them losing their jobs, I want them to be prepared, not scared. And uh, every day that you get time to get a little bit more ready for what's coming ahead, you are blessed. And I hope that you guys made it to the end of this video. And if you did, please hashtag blessed 
in this video, because I think these are very, very important times, both economically, socially, and mentally, emotionally. Did I already say that one? I already forgot. But you guys know what I mean. I don't want to joke around. It's These are very serious times. And I want people to know that. Sometimes you got to use sarcasm to get through these days because, woo, just seems to be getting nuttier and nuttier. Again, I'm going to link that story below. Guys, if you haven't su subscribed, if you would consider subscribing, it'll really help me out. I really want to get the truth out. I want to penetrate darkness with light. I want to break down barriers with truth, knowledge, and understanding and completely destroy the way people have thought about their position in life or always grown up thinking they're going to be poor or in poverty. That's going to stop right now. We're going to start changing things right now. I believe that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hashtag blessed in the description. We'll talk to you later. The Economic Ninja is out.